What's up everybody, War of Stormwind here. And uh, last time I left off showing you guys how everything worked upstairs with the uh, the power set up and, and how everything was going with the the new uh, slaughterhouse and and how XP works so make sure to check that out today I, I'm, I'm showing y'all that I'm, I'm gonna be working on gathering some more uh, resources I'm trying to make the abyssal knight armor set definitely take a look at that I've, uh, I've built the helmet I'll show you what it does but I also want to show you my new pet and uh, do a little mining and and show you how he really is a is a useful tool to have so uh, let's go ahead and get started because these 10 minutes go fast gonna go ahead and place him down there he is luggage luggage is the best watch like when I get started mining he'll get going and he'll just run around and eat everything so if I don't pick it up he's gonna get on it for me it really makes this go fast oh looks like he causes a little lag too so we're just gonna keep going hoping for some uh, abyssal night ore it's kinda rare I haven't really found a whole lot of it I found five ingots worth total so far gotta be careful like you notice I'm not really putting too many torches down if I do this at night time, I'll actually get monsters spawning behind me. Alright. Get this matic out. Look at that. No mess to clean up. He is on it. Anytime you can shift, shift right click on him and pick him back up, put him back in your inventory. So not only is he a complete chest, you can go ahead and load on up, but you can also carry him in your inventory. So he's a carryable chest. Let's see, was there any abyssal night ore? didn't look like it. There's a little iron here. I've got to grab this iron. Stuff's too important. The rest of this stuff, meh. If I need it, I'll come back for it. Definitely don't need coal. Only thing coal's good for is experience. Because that just means I get to make more blazes. Come here, you. Give me a stack of that. Get these holes filled in because I'm, I'm uh, obsessive compulsive can't have holes left in places where I don't want them. He skitters along like a spider behind you. You gotta kinda get used to the sound otherwise it'll spook you. But normally when I do this mining I have to come back through and pick everything up or my inventory will fill up. Now I've got basically three chests worth of movable inventory with me at any given time while I'm mining, which uh, is very critical. It really allows me to, to basically churn through this entire hammer's durability. Talking on durability of your weapons, some of these weapons, I don't know if they have it set in the mod pack or not, but sometimes you're only allowed to let your weapon break so many times. So. Always make sure to stop, like right before you reach a point where it's going to break. Go ahead and let it heal up a little bit with the auto repair from the moss. And don't forget you can craft that moss. You don't have to uh, go out to the world and find willow trees and then use the willow trees to uh, grow moss. You can simply take a water bucket and put it in the middle of eight pieces of cobblestone and that will in turn make all of the uh, all of the mossy cobblestone you need you just rinse and repeat the process till you have the amount of mossy cobblestone you oh, stupid computer you can just simply craft all the mossy cobblestone you could ever want so you know don't 
make sure to look through those recipes and see what is available and find the ways to use the different mods together. Some of them are going to have cheaper, even cheaty ways to do things that the other mods are going to make very difficult. So look at it, think about it. Oh, I can hear that lava. That lava is really close. I think I want to stop right there. Look at all that gold I don't need. It's sad when, you know, I'm I'm more interested in tin and iron than I am anything else. Like a bunch of these different mod packs. Iron. Oh my goodness. Iron makes steel. By the way, they don't tell you that. Like, you can't, you've got to really dig to find a recipe that tells you how to make steel. You just simply take your iron and bake it again. So, make your iron with the smeltery, and then, you know, take your ingots, throw them in the furnace. From there, oh, look at his inventory. What is that? Vertebrae. Hmm. Crazy. So what was I saying before I got distracted? Yeah, so take your iron and uh, and smelt it in the furnace and get your steel. Steel can uh, can mine cobalt, so you're gonna need the steel in order to mine anything in the Nether that's important. I really haven't been worried about it too much. I've uh I've just been kinda doing my own thing, playing with these different mods. I spend more time growing rubber trees than I do anything. Rubber trees don't seem to grow in this environment, so they really uh they're really the, the bearer of any of the tasks that I have to accomplish. It's just sitting down with bone meal that I get from the mob drops out of the mob spawner or out of mining and uh, you know bone mealing up my trees I I want to get started on some of these other mod packs you know the blood magic but I just I find it to be tedious right now I, I want to have a, a better system in place where I can you know supply the um, it, supply the altar with the blood without it really being uh, too much of a hazard or a detriment to me and I'm just not there yet I get the auto spawner going with a little bit more. I might uh, I might build a spawner that spawns in uh, villagers or something of that nature. Use that to to fund the uh, the blood for the altar. You gotta be careful. You can't accidentally hit him. It's not like he's gonna attack you back, but. He can only take a certain. He has a finite amount of damage he can take before he's done. And you gotta be careful where you take him, cause like he'll hop in oil and he'll hop in all kinds of things he's simply not supposed to be in, and uh, really to your detriment. I know mining's boring, but it's equally important. I think that's good enough. Good enough down this path. Let's get it lit up. Got a little bit of iron here. Let's see if I can't pick that up without dropping a bunch of lava on my head. is definitely useful. Alright guys, well I'm going to keep working this. Get him to move out of there. Come here. Come here. And I will see you guys in the next episode.